Hey there, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever found yourself wishing you could easily refresh your power by reports on demand, maybe right in front of colleagues or during a live meeting, you're in the right place. Today I'll walk you through how to create a power by refresh button inside your report using Power Automate. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be empowering your viewers or stakeholders to update the latest data with just a click, making your reports even more interactive and powerful. Let's dive right into it. We'll start from our Power by workspace. First things first, you want to add Power Automate to your report. If you're not familiar, Power Automate is a fantastic tool from Microsoft that allows you to automate workflows across all sorts of applications, including Power By. Look for the Power Automate visual in your visualizations pane. If it's not there, you can grab it from the marketplace. Go ahead and add it onto your report canvas, wherever it fits best. Now with Power Automate on your report, you'll see three dots. That's the More Options menu. Click those three dots, then hit Edit. This is where we'll actually start building out the workflow, or what's called a flow, that will handle your refresh button action. Next, you'll want to create a brand new flow. Click New and select Instant Cloud Flow. What this means is that your automation will run instantly, each time someone presses the button. It's the perfect choice for something that you want to trigger on demand, just like our refresh. In your flow editor, click New Step. Here comes one of the most important parts in the search bar, type Refresh. You'll see an action come up called Refresh a Dataset. Go ahead and select that one. This step tells Power Automate exactly what you want to happen when someone uses your button. Now you'll need to point this action at the specific dataset you want to refresh. It'll ask you for your workspace, so select My Workspace or whichever workspace your dataset is stored in. Then in the next dropdown, pick the right dataset. Double check that you've got the correct one here. If you pick the wrong dataset, the button won't update your intended report. Once everything looks good, click Save. It's never a bad idea to save periodically as you go, that way you don't lose any progress if something unexpected happens. Also, make sure to save and apply your changes in Power BI before moving forward. This will make your new flow available to your report. Now let's jump back to your Power BI report. You'll see the button you just set up, but it probably has a generic name. Let's make it crystal clear for your users, click on the button and change its label to Refresh. This way, anyone using the report will know exactly what that button there for. Here's one last but essential step. To activate the button when you're viewing the published report, hold down the control key on your keyboard and then click the button. This keyboard shortcut is how you trigger the Power Automate flow from inside Power BI. It might take a few moments for the refresh to kick in, especially if your dataset is large or your connection is slow, so don't worry if you don't see changes right away. You should see a notification pop up letting you know your refresh is in progress. And that's it, you've just created an on demand refresh button directly inside Power BI, thanks to the magic of Power Automate. Now your users can always be confident they're seeing the latest data whenever they need it. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or run into issues, drop a comment below. I'm always happy to help out. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more Power BI and data tips just like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.